On this episode, it's all about living in Capos. We visit places like Evita, Dominico, we go to Manuel Antonio National Park, La Fortuna, we do a little bit of fishing, and tropical Christmas with no snow. Okay, we just pulled into this place, uh, it's called Playa Hermosa, down by Uvita. And it's got this really nice public access parking lot. This is what separates Costa Rica from a lot of the neighboring countries. It's clean and nice and the government has provided things. It's a beautiful parking lot. We've got a river behind us we'll show you. And just this amazing beach. Yeah. If you have enough time in Costa Rica, this is definitely one of the stops you need to make. It's a pretty far walk out there, but it was really cool and those bays are, the water is so warm, it's like bathtub water. There's fish everywhere, really cool place to go. Okay, we're going to meet Leo, Leo. He's our surf instructor and he knows the guy. He knows the guy. Anyway, we're going to look at lots over here, some land. If you find this camera and we've been murdered, it was Leo. <laughs> so we were just looking at property for fun. This first place was way out in the boonies, and I thought if they were going to murder us, this was the place. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. The next place we went was just outside of El Silencio. And you have to go across this river, and in the rainy season, you can't get across it. And the only way across is that bridge. So we're following uh, crazy guides up here, the local real estate agents. They wanted me to drive through this river, and they'll... Yeah, that would have flooded this car. See, this guy was really cool. I think his name was Arturo. They live completely off grid. He's got one solar panel and one battery. Charges his phone. They totally live off the land. They raise coconut palm oil, kind of like in those other videos. And his dad died of cancer and he's just trying to figure out a way to sell some of his land so he doesn't lose it. So we hiked just clear up to the top of the mountain where you can get the classic ocean view. I don't know how you'd ever get up this road, but it was really cool. I wish I could go back and see that guy. Watch him dig with his nose. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Okay, we got some sort of problem. We got smoke everywhere in here and we finally figured it out. It's luckily that these places are not built out of wood. Down in here we got a fire. The plugs catching on fire and smoking all over the place. Oy. Yeah. Smoked yesterday and we couldn't figure it out. I thought it was the AC unit. This AC unit right here. So you it know, wasn't the AC? It's something going on. We don't know. we will tell the people and they'll, they'll come fix it. Here's a little of our everyday life at the Airbnb. Did Daddy make it for you? Mm -hmm. Show me. Eva, we got the cherries, they are not seated, and an umbrella. There we go. Fire. 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 F
Okay, Porter cut them, if anybody asks. Wasn't us. How was she eating? Uh, mango. Just a little bit of mango for breakfast? Mm hmm Sentirte seguro visitando Quepos en estas vacaciones Que nosotros nos encargamos de tu salud I just love the way they advertise down there So we wanted to go fishing, we saw the locals doing it And figured we'd go down and try They don't use poles, they use a uh, reel A little plastic reel that you wind it up on like a survival shelf There's half trying to figure it out uh, We're not good fishermen Hap's got a fish. Oh, well, it's gonna be funny. What do you got, Hap? Reeling the big boy. Oh, there he comes. You got a water balloon. <laughs> Bring, pull him up. Hey, up here. Up here so I can see you together. There you go. Up. As that boat drove by, I thought, where are those fish going? So I followed them to the fish market, and that's where we bought all of our fish for the rest of the trip. So we're uh, going fishing with our surfing instructor, Leo. He wanted to take us out red snapper fishing. It's a little cloudy out, I don't know. Our last fishing trip in uh, Cozumel is an absolute disaster, so kids don't want to go I hope this is better because they're not liking this whole fishing bit see how it goes video video total tempo yeah, okay perfect this is only for a ferry see si. oh out to the boat see si. see si. go oh. easy oh. Oh. Get the ferry across the little channel right there. You know, Luis talking to somebody and I go, I think we're going to his house. There's a lot of words I miss in Spanish. Alright, let's talk about these ferries. That's Cape Post there on the right, then you see that waterway. Well, that whole beach is called the city of El Cocal, and that's where a lot of locals live. And there's no bridge, there's no way to get over there, so they run these little boats back and forth all day long. I can't remember, it It was probably like 25 or 50 cents or something to get across. I don't remember in colognes, but all day, non-stop. Just a different way of life. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Ah. 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 We headed in that night and I drove straight to the fish market and bought the fish that we didn't catch. And here's the stuff we cooked. We got mahi mahi that we made fish steaks with. Nice. Fresh off the boat. I went to the store and I'm trying to make biscuits and gravy and there was no like package of sausage so I'm taking all the links out so we can make biscuits and gravy. There's not very many options when you're in a different country. Shrimp. Garlic. Garlic butter shrimp. Oh, 
spend a lot of nights just hiking down to some random beach. This is Playa La Baca. But really any beach, it's pretty hard to screw up Costa Rica. Man, we had some good times there. It's the same alphabet, but they sound different. Wow. That's worth the hike. Oh, did you make it out? Okay. Oh, my stomach hurts because of the hiking. It wasn't bad. Just the hiking up the hill and down the hill. We finally got some visitors. Crystal's brother Cody and his family came down. And we headed down to Uvita to hit some waterfalls we hadn't hit yet. That too. Uh, Get ready. Go. Driving smart. Is that what? Yeah, that's a garden hose. For those of you that don't know, Hap is obsessed with diving. He watches these YouTubers who dig up jewelry and stuff underwater all the time. He actually found a ring at this spot, but I didn't give him a recording of it. He's like a fish. He's so natural in the water. We lost him. He hasn't come up in minutes. We just had to take him to Playa Hermosa on the way back. We played around here for a while and then we went over to Dominico, walked the shops and ate dinner on the beach. One moment. When we got home there was a little bit more of a Costa Rican rainstorm, but we had company so they played games. Cody, you don't look like a natural tourist. <laughs> What is it? There's a bird that small. Where? And a little bit more Costa Rican rain. If you're going to Manuel Antonio National Park, absolutely do not go without a guide. You won't see anything. Those guys can point out so many things. So worth the money. I saw everything. It was cool. What? You can see those things? It's really cool. This is probably one of the most famous places in Costa Rica. This two-headed beach in Manuel Antonio National Park. Just beautiful. Tell me what you got here. Got a bunch of good crabs. You got a bunch of crabs as pets. Yeah, yeah. you have a few snails. Do you want to adopt one? No. <laughs> I went on a solo hike out to the end of this point. Awesome jungle trails. We went back to the surf beach, and since we're locals now, we showed our cousins how to live off the land. Spill it all down you again. There you go. What'd you find again? Pina colada. <laughs> what are you drinking? The 
Pacific orange something. Surfers, man. Surf's up, dude. Surf's up, man. We spent our last night with our guests out on our favorite beach. You know, just a beautiful sunset. Send them back to freezing cold Utah. So one of the ways we find places to go is I get on Google Earth and I just kind of look around the area. Zoom in and out, look all around. We saw this little beach, kind of zoomed in on it, didn't really know what it was. So I thought we would just go over there and check it out for real. possibly another dang cool place in Costa Rica just cannot get over it there is just endless beauty wherever we go cannot seem to find a crappy place man I just love it here so I'm out flying the drone around and I fly up on cash I don't know what he's doing. He's always doing something random. So I kind of start following him around. And he's got it in his mind. He's going to set up a little soccer field and have a coconut kickball tournament. So we're back at the beach, or surf beach, for our last day. Leo and Louise, they want to send us up. off in style. So they dig Ivy, this hot tub, and they fill it up with this cooler. I don't know how many trips it took them to get this thing full. I'll just take care of this. These guys are so cool. got a private pool. You're spoiled. If you go to Manuel Antonio, look for Leon Surf School on the north end of the beach. Won't find anything better. Okay, just got my COVID test for, uh, for heading to Miami or Orlando to get that laptop. Um, went to the first place and they had to make an appointment later, but then I found this place <clears throat> and they can do it. But anyway, I got, got that thing jabbed up my nose so I can go get the stinking American laptop. Okay, let's see if I can tell this story. I destroyed my laptop, which is a story for another day, but it was cheaper for me to fly to Florida, to buy a laptop and fly back. I saved a thousand dollars even with paying airfare than it was in Costa Rica. Electronics in Costa Rica are outrageous and they're only Latin keyboards which would probably drive me nuts. So I had a friend who just happened to be in Florida, Josh, and I met up with him. Part of this. Josh. Uh, <laughs> How you doing? Long time no see. He took me to Costco, took me back to the airport, I jumped back on the plane, flew back to Costa Rica, and I had my laptop. Looking around behind me, Christmas lights maybe? Red and greens? Could it be? No, 
It's the coolest parking system I've ever seen in my life. If it's red, it's empty. If it's green, it's open. And you can see all of the lanes everywhere. If it's blue, it's a handicap. Why don't we have this? Which brings us to our tropical Christmas. So Santa left the door open. We're getting evidence. That was locked last night. What about the cookies? Hey Bri, how's the luggage packing hot. going? It's really hot and sweaty. <laughs> There's our car. Remember a big van. We do, huh? Here's the back. We're gonna miss this place. We had a great time here. All in the jungle. We headed to La Fortuna on our way out of Costa Rica and we saw this coati. They're so much different looking than the ones we saw in Cozumel. We made to La Fortuna, which is probably one of the most visited places in Costa Rica. Took a little tour, the square. Just spent two days there, I think. So we thought it'd be a good idea to go get some sandwiches, sandwich stuff. And all this costs forty-two dollars. So all in all, it'd probably be cheaper to go have somebody else cook the dang food. Yeah. You can get burgers, fries, and a coke for forty-five hundred colognes, and it's we just paid thirty thousand colognes. Okay. Um, I got this weird brownie donut and the caramel type. It's like a caramel hamburger. Mm -hmm. uh, the free hot pots, and this happens anywhere you go in Costa Rica. This guy is walking us down the road and he's going to tip. Oops. Optional tip. They want to park your car, they want to do all of it. None of it's mandatory, but you, you can help the people out. Right, guys, right here, you're going to the left for the bridge because this side is danger for the baby. That's this. And my work, I don't have to work, it's pretty near the rear, right through the back. Okay. Right here. Here. Okay. He had to remind us that he cleaned the bottle up there just this morning that Ivy would have cut her foot with. So he, we can pay him if, if you know if we want. Hey, look at this hostel right here. $8. It's like cement all the way. And there's a waterfall. I can't believe. Okay, it's, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. There's like four cars up there. And there's nobody here. Yesterday, there was 500 people here at 5 o'clock. Whoa! It's a hot water river. Oh my god. Check it out. Four, four. Four, four. Uh, I am way into this day. <laughs> <laughs> 
your way into this jungle stuff? Yeah. Go to the other side. Oh. Dad, don't tell me to be careful. Go? Go. Go. Yeah. It is a hot water river. There's no one here. Bring shoes. The last place we went to was Baldy Hot Springs Resort and Spa. This place is amazing. There's like 25 pools and it all comes from this natural hot spring. Starting at the top which is extremely Whoa. hot and works its way down. Whoa. Absolute must there. do if you go anywhere near La Fortuna. Wow. Oh, hot pot, I Okay. Let's go check it out. Pool number four. Yeah, it's Well, that's bearable now. It's hot. It's hot. 105. Last day in Costa Rica. We drove up over the mountains, which were a whole lot different than everything we'd been seeing. As we're driving out through the countryside, we come up on this, I don't know what it was, flew the drone out there. And this is a bungee jumping bridge, suspension bridge, I don't know what you'd call it. It wasn't open or I don't know, nobody was out there, but it looks 100% freaky to me.
Cathedral in what's it called? Palahuela by San Jose and we saw a cathedral that looked like the Mexican cathedrals. So we're gonna check it out. Holy crap, you're still watching? Well, this is a little tour of our Airbnb. Really boring, but mostly for my family so we can remember when we watched this in 10 years. Thank you. 